With the lighter skin tone, you want to stay in the blue undertones as far as lip color. For a warmer olive complexion, the things that have a little bit more warmth. So think warm complexion, warm tone lip color. So for Morgan, the four main products I'm using are lip brush, a neutral lip liner, um, an orange red lipstick, and of course, Smashbox Lip and Lip Primer. First, I'm gonna apply the Lip and Lip Primer. The great thing about Lip and Lip Primer is it's gonna neutralize enough of your natural lip shade so that your lipsticks will wear truer and look truer when you're applying them. I'm gonna start with a neutral lip liner. And again, when you're applying your lip liner, you don't want it to look very harsh. It just needs to shape the lips. Just right at the top, right in the cupid's bow. And again, I'm just gonna go back and forth. That 1984 harsh, dark, heavy lip line is gone. The more modern way to apply lip liner is you just want to play with the natural shape of the lip. You want to go very, very, very light as far as shading. And if you notice, I don't go all the way in because I just want it to look very natural. You want to try to build the natural shape of your lip up. As long as you're using a neutral toned lip pencil and you're using soft shading, not where it's super hard, you can actually build the lip line up. I'm using lip brush with lavish photo finish lipstick. And again, I'm loading the brush up and I'm really just using the tip of the brush to apply the lip color. I normally like to start at, with the bottom in the center because it's just an easier application. And you just kind of go back and forth like you're painting. One of the advantages of using a photo finish lipstick is the fact that the color is buildable. You can start off sheer or you can layer until you get full coverage. So it's actually adjustable coverage just depending on how you apply it. Now I know a lot of women are really apprehensive about wearing a red lipstick because you really want to get it on. You have to get a red lipstick. Unlike a gloss, you've got to get it on perfect. Here's a little trick for easy cleanup. Take your concealer and your concealer brush and just on the outer edges, you're going to lightly clean up. By using the concealer on the outer edge, you're just ensuring that everything is really just going to stay right in place. We're doing a simple classic red lip for a cooler skin tone. We're choosing a blue red that will always look great on someone who has a cooler skin tone. So we're going to start with our classic lip and lip primer. I'm just going to take a little bit of that, just apply it across the lip area. It's going to fill in the fine lines, create a matte surface, and stop any type of feathering. Our next step, of course, is lining. I'm going to use our Double Take Pencil in Cranberry. It's a blue-red pencil that actually is very creamy. It's just going to help to define the lip, because you want to always define a red lip before you actually apply a lip color. Double take pencils are really great because the texture is so creamy, they just glide right into the area where you're applying them. I like to shade the lip in just a little bit so that when I apply the lipstick over, everything just blends. Step two, perfect 1950s legendary red photo finish legendary lipstick. The texture of the lipstick and the color are very vibrant. And when you think of the perfect red for a fair skin tone, think of what would look good on Marilyn Monroe back in the 50s or Grace Kelly. This is also that perfect wedding red. Using a lip brush is key, for, especially for a red lip, simply because it will help you to control the application of color. You can actually build on the color when you're using a lip brush, and it really helps, especially on the outer edges when you're trying to define and get, that, get the color right to the very, very, very edge. Now don't be afraid about going over because remember our other key product to use for cleanup is our number four concealer brush and a little bit of concealer. You can always go back. So there we have it, our classic blue-red for our fair-haired girls.